Okay, so today I'm going to take you through the sumo deadlift. This is a deadlift you see where people have their knees quite wide. It's more focusing on your glutes, okay? So you get into a nice wide stance. You'll have to play around with the position of your feet, position of your knees, depending on how long your torso is and what feels comfortable for you, okay? So I'm going to go for this distance apart. Next, hands want to be close in the center. So you might see people with an overhand grip and another underhand grip. Now, straight away you can see I'm really imbalanced. I don't like this because it's going to help, it's going to twist your torso, twist your shoulders, and it's not so good. But if you need to do that, definitely do some reps this way, some reps this way. But I prefer the overhand grip. Okay, later on in other videos, I'll talk about the hook grip where you can get a bit of a tighter grip. But for this one, central, middle of the bar, just inside your knees and we're going to be lifting from there. Okay, so first of all, from the floor, you want to be thinking about your feet gripping. We want a nice stable platform. We want to be thinking about knees out, not knees in, okay? So we don't want to let them caving in. This is your glutes that's going to do that for you, okay? So I'm going to be lifting from the floor. Hands want to be gripping the bar nice and tight. We don't want our wrists turned up or turned in. They want to be nice and neutral. Okay, working up our body. We want our torso to be straight. We don't want our back to be slumped over. So the way we do this, think about a pole down our back, okay? And this also includes the head. So before we initiate the lift, we don't want to have our head up. You can see already how uncomfortable that looks. That's not good, okay? So you want to be in this position. Normally what I do is I'll pick a spot on the floor in front of me to look at to make sure I've got this position. So I don't want that to happen. I want that to happen. The way I activate that is I think about putting my elbows in my back pockets as I'm doing the movement, okay? So then from there, I'm gonna initiate the movement. I'm not gonna rip it from the floor. I'm gonna gradually build up the pressure, and then I'm gonna lift. So I'm fully extending through. I'm, I'm activating my glutes at the top of the movement, shoulders are back, head's neutral, core's tight, and I'm gonna go down nice and steady, and the bar wants to follow your shin the whole time. So it wants to look like this. So I'm really squeezing my glutes throughout the whole movement. So failing on this movement isn't not being able to lift the weight like a lot of other movements. Failing is actually when your back caves in because you haven't got enough strength within your, your core and your back muscles and you continue with the movement. That's going to cause damage to your lower back. We don't want that. You want to have your core nice and tight. So you can either put a camera to the side so you can be able to see it or you can, you can ask a friend to spot it for you. But basically, you want to be not having this happen. Core nice and tight. And then as you start to feel this uh, failure of the core, that's when you've run out of strength. Track it there and make sure you progress on that, not progressing on not being able to lift a movement. We don't want any, any injuries to happen. Okay, so that's the sumo deadlift, guys. See you in the next video.